Good morning from Langley and uh, we've got a few more things to report on and it's, um, it might not sound very exciting but what we've got now on this site is a tale of drainage. Now I'm sure a lot of you are going, oh how boring. But actually what that is doing is telling us about how this field has been used in the past and it might even be indicating to us where a building has been in the past as well, quite an early building. What we've got in that trench up by the road are, it looks like two lines coming down and converging. And one is a field drain, which is, is in a ceramic pipe. And that dates to roughly between sort of 1870 and 1900. And that was used to take water from probably a yard up towards the actual, what is now the priory, out to the, to the lower boggy ground down there. And the other one is a slightly earlier, which is an earlier drain, is right next to it and that's a pebble-filled gully, which is much more what you'd expect. And that's draining the water again from something over this area away. So the idea is to get the water away from buildings, yards, or just to make this field usable. Because where we are in Langley now, where it's all built up, in the past it was more like an island. So dry land was incredibly important and valuable for the farmers. So in order to make it usable, you'd drain the water out and as we've seen here, we had rain about four days ago now and there's still rain in some of the trenches. There's still water filling them up because of the clay. So you can see the need for drainage. Um, and then behind me in this other trench, we've got a similar thing going on in that there seems to be a gully cut through and then pits for draining the water away. But in this case, the geophysics has shown us that it comes out almost at a, like an end of a rectangle and comes round. So that would indicate this isn't just a field drain draining water away, but it's keeping water away from maybe a structure, maybe a wooden building or something here, which is interesting because that's on a slightly different alignment to the, the sort of later part of the priory building itself. So drains don't sound particularly interesting, but they can actually tell us what's been going on on the site, probably back into the medieval period.